Good morning everyone. Today we're going to take a look at this water-powered flashlight. So you'll see there's three LEDs, a power switch, and then the pouch opens up at the top to add water. So let's go ahead and add around 150 ml of water. We'll close the pouch. It's a bit like a Ziploc bag. And then it says you have to wait 10 minutes. So not exactly as convenient as a battery powered flashlight. It's only been 30 seconds, but I'm just curious what happens if I try to turn it on without waiting 10 minutes. Oh, look, you don't have to wait 10 minutes. It's working straight away. How cool is that? Wow, I haven't tested this. I wanted to wait until the video. That's actually pretty cool. It's even brighter than I expected. Let me turn off my lights and show you. Okay, it's a little bit dark because it's still early. It's around 6 a.m. Let's put on our emergency water flashlight. Ta-da! How cool is that? This actually works a lot better than I expected. That's awesome. Now for comparison, I'll show you a really affordable flashlight that recharges by USB. And this thing will blow it out of the park. See that? See how bright that is? And this is zoomable as well, so I can make it like that to throw it further, or I can make it a wider beam. But still, that's pretty cool considering it runs on just water. Let me turn the light back on. Now I'm sure some people watching this are thinking, hmm, I've heard of that technology before. It was used in ancient Egyptian times. And yes, you're right. And you're probably thinking, from what I remember, it's not just water. You're right again, it's water and salt. Five to 10 grams of salt and then 150 milliliters of water. So it's actually a salt water battery, not just a water battery. And then this thing doesn't last forever. Inside, let me show you. You'll see the fuel cell inside. That's actually a magnesium sheet. And there's a reaction between the salt water and the magnesium, and that's how it's generating power. So it's not technically running from just water. That's what some people try to mislead because there are many products like this and they say, oh, just add water, just add water. Yeah, you add water and salt, but then it's consumable. The magnesium inside will be consumed. Now they actually claim that this is a 55 watt hour fuel cell or battery. So potentially they claim it can run these LEDs for 120 hours. So that's still pretty impressive, but you have to remember that the magnesium inside is being consumed. That's a consumable. One of the important things you'll see there is it actually has a storage life of five to 10 years and a runtime they claim of up to 120 hours. And here's the instructions on use. They talk about adding the salt and water, giving it a shake and then leaving it for 10 minutes. Although, as I showed you, it started working for me within, you know, 30 seconds or a minute. Although maybe, maybe it would get brighter if you leave it the full 10 minutes, but the brightness is decent. They claim it's half a watt and yeah, I would say that looks like half a watt. It actually looks as bright as the little one watt USB bulbs I have. So light-wise, it's pretty decent. Now, is this something that everybody should rush out and buy? Probably not. It's not especially cheap. This cost me, I think, around 250 pesos, while this flashlight was, I think, 120, and I can recharge this as many times as I want. But is it worth having one of these in your emergency kit just in case something really weird happens and you need 120 hours worth of backup light? Maybe. Maybe you live near the water and then you don't have to worry about getting salt from your kitchen. You can just go to the ocean and then get some salt water. It's an interesting product. It's not something that I think everyone should rush out to buy, but it's something fun to play with. Now this is obviously, like I said, ancient Egyptian times, they were using similar technology. But there was another product recently in the Philippines, I think maybe, oh, 
it might actually be a long time ago, not so recent, but there was a local inventor who made their own version of this and they even got praise from Barack Obama. So that's how you know that it wasn't so recent because he hasn't been president for a while, right? Um, but yeah, there is actually a local version of this or like a local variant invention kind of thing. Um, they call it the salt lamp and it stands for a sustained something 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 i'm sorry i don't remember it was so long ago but yeah it's a pretty cool product and i know a lot of people have been saying hey your name's gadget addict you haven't uploaded gadgets for so long here's a gadget it's a it's just a fun weekend gadget thanks for watching